Hey, it's Keith over at Seriously Strong Training, and we've got a new year and we've got a new video for you. It's gonna be our first video of 2024, and what we're gonna do is show you the six best exercises for strengthening your low back. And if you hang around to the end, I've got a seventh bonus exercise. That's my secret weapon for building a really strong low back. That's gonna make sure that you're having less pain and bigger lifts in the new year. If your low back's bothering you after a heavy day of lifting, maybe some deadlifts, or even just sitting too long, it may be because it's a little weak. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to take care of it. Before we get started showing you the six exercises, I need you to do me a favor. Can you hit the subscribe button down below? I'm making a big push this year to hit 10,000 subscribers. We're at 4,000 right now. We're in the first week of 2024. And if you could help me hit 10,000 by the end of the year, I will be forever grateful. Okay, now that I've asked for subscribers, I'm going to get to the meat of today's topic, which is those exercises that are designed to strengthen your low back. I've got six plus a seventh bonus one at the end, so make sure you stick around to watch that one. It's the, probably the best one on the entire list. The reason that our low back needs more direct work is because most programs don't have it in there. Right? When we want to strengthen a muscle group, we need to do two things for it. We need to grow the muscle and make it bigger. And we also need to get better at recruiting it. We need to improve the mind-muscle connection so that the muscle that you do have is being used as hard and as well as it possibly can. So the exercises that I've chosen today are going to attack both of those things. We're going to use exercises that are going to hold your low back in a certain position, a neutral position, where we're going to now put it under strain and resistance, and you're going to have to hold that position. And then we're also going to do some exercises that will stimulate hypertrophy that are going to be where we're using the low back through a range of motion under resistance, and that's going to grow those muscles muscles and make them larger so that we have bigger ones, we use them better, you've got a bigger, stronger back, bigger lifts, and less pain, hopefully. The spinal erectors are the ones that we're really thinking about strengthening in this. They start up here at the neck, and they're going to go all the way down your back. And there's a few other muscle groups like the QL in there that we're going to strengthen as well. So make sure you stick around, watch all these exercises, give them a good shot because you're going to like them. It's going to help you out a lot. Hey, it's Keith and Andrew over at Seriously Strong Training St. Pete, and today we're going to show you how to do the Superman. The Superman is a great exercise for getting started with low back training because it's body weight, it's simple to learn, and it's easy to do anywhere. It's going to target and strengthen the low back in the way that we have the mind-muscle connection, right? Because when we want to strengthen muscles, we need to do two things. We need to A, make a bigger muscle, and B, use the muscle better. Superman is great for that second part. So if you're not doing any dedicated low back training already, this is where you should be starting. Andrew's going to hop on the floor here. We've got a mat down and he's going to go show you what that looks like. And we've got a few pointers for you for scaling this exercise up and making it more advanced or more challenging. So he's got his arms in the 90-90 position, 90 here, 90 here, legs out long. And you're going to like this because the Superman is just like this. He's flying through the air. The big tip here is making sure you're lifting your entire body off the ground. That means it's easy to maybe just lift the arms or maybe just lift the legs, but we want to get as little of your body on the ground as possible. That's when you're doing a great Superman. Now, if you want to advance this exercise, you put the arms out overhead. That's going to make it more challenging. And again, make sure you're lifting really high. So I'm going to have Andrew go back to that 90-90 position and just show you a few reps here. And now that we've shown you the Superman, we're going to show you the plank next. The plank is a great exercise for strengthening the low back because it's easy to learn. It's beginner friendly. You can do it anywhere, but it's difficult to master and it's really easy to scale up and make more challenging as you get better at low back training. We like this exercise for strengthening the low back because you're going to set your low back in that very neutral position. The spinal rectors are going to be challenged a lot to hold it, and that's going to be have a lot of transfer over to when you're lifting or you're just sitting around a lot. It's going to make sure that those muscles are active and then that you can, can use them well in the positions and the times at which you need to. Andrew's going to get down here on the mat and show you what a plank looks like. So we're going to show you planks on the elbows. It's really going to be maybe a slightly more difficult version than when you're doing planks on the hands, but a lot of the stuff that you're going to be doing with your body is going to transfer here as well. He's going to bring his feet toes down, curled under, and then he's going to lift his body up so his elbows are directly under his shoulders. And what we're looking at here is a straight low back, right? It's nice and flat. If you're doing it like this where you curve too much, uh, go the other way. This is not going to give you the benefits that we are really after, or like he showed you at first, this is also not it. Butt in the air is not what we're looking for. So we want to get down here like a plank, nice and flat through here. And usually you'll know you're doing it well when you're starting to shake a little bit as you do it, because it's really challenging all these muscles around the core and especially these spinal erectors right here. So now that we showed you the plank, we're going to show you another exercise that's going to be even better for strengthening the low back and stimulating hypertrophy there. 
Back extensions are a phenomenal exercise for strengthening the spinal erectors, those muscles that are part of the core, but the ones down here, abs, obliques, spinal erectors, they're the ones back here. And again, they're the ones that probably don't get enough stimulus in your day-to-day -day training. So it's really important for you to include exercises like the back extension to make sure we're stimulating hypertrophy there and we're gonna grow those muscles so they can be really strong. Andrew's gonna hop up here on the back, on our GHD. If you don't have one of these, that's okay. You can do it on one of those 45 degree back extensions and you might find that's a little more comfortable and easy for you to get started with, but this is what we have. So this is what we're gonna be showing you. Now he's got his hips on the front of this pad and he's starting by getting into this really low curved position here. We want most of the motion or all the motion right here targeted. Go ahead and show us one, Andrew. So look at this, he's got a good curvature here, which means he's putting the muscle through a really big range of motion, and then he's going to curve it the other way. So he's moving into what we call flexion now, as much flexion as possible, and then he's going to come up and squeeze it. He's in the starter position, the beginner position, with your arms across the chest, a great thing about this exercise, it's really easy to make more challenging or difficult by putting the hands out further. So easy would be here, medium would be here, and Andrew, he's a beast, he's skipping right to advanced difficult mode. If you wanna take it even further, you can just put a dumbbell or some kind of weight in those hands, and you'll get even more out of this exercise. But again, what's really important is this big range of motion. Don't get caught up with how much weight you're doing and how many reps you're doing, really focus on the quality of the movement. So I'm gonna have him show you a couple more here. And then we're gonna show you the next exercise on that list. The front load of good morning is a great exercise for strengthening the low back and improving the hip hinge pattern because it's really gonna challenge the muscles on the posterior chain. It's those muscles that start up here on the neck your whole back, your low back, glutes, hamstrings, all of that is what's gonna be included in the front load of Good Morning when we're training it. And so it's good also because it's beginner friendly, it requires minimal equipment, and it's kind of easy to learn, but it's a difficult to master, which is something that we always appreciate and love. Andrew's gonna grab the dumbbell and he's gonna show you how to do those now, those front load of Good Mornings. And again, you could do them with a medicine ball, whatever, but he's got it gripped by the ends, he's got it high on the chest, he's got it close to his body, and then he's got a nice and flat back, right? He's not rounded forward. He's gonna have the shoulders back, which is gonna help strengthen those and improve your posture. And then he's gonna do a hip hinge pattern. He's got the knees bent just a little bit. His feet are shoulder width apart. And then he's going to bend only at the hips, right? So he's nice and flat through here. He starts out flat there, he stays flat through there. When he gets to that point at the bottom where you're like, oh, if I'm gonna go any lower, I'm gonna have to round my low back. Don't do it, just stop. Get that stretch in the hamstrings, come back up. You know you're doing it really good if you get that stretch in the hamstrings early. And once that hamstring stretch is kind of maxed out, come back up. It's not about going super low, it's about getting that hamstring stretch and that's gonna come from keeping nice and flat back. He's gonna show you a few here. Next, we're gonna show you those straight-legged deadlifts. The straight-legged deadlift is a great exercise for strengthening the low back because it's gonna put the spinal erectors through a really big range of motion, which is gonna give them a lot of stimulus for growth and ensure that we're building stronger muscles down there, hopefully the ones that can help you set bigger PRs and at the best, maybe reduce some of your low back pain. Andrew's gonna have some dumbbells. He's gonna show you what those look like now. So he's got a hip width of stance, right? So his feet are about this far apart. And then what's different from this than regular deadlifts is that you kind of just throw all the great deadlift stuff out the window. We're going to keep the legs, again, if not completely straight, just a little unlocked. And then he's going to just curl his back, reach down as low as he can, a lot of curvature through here, and he's going to come back up. I want you to turn just a little bit and face me so they can really see what we're doing here. So again, pay attention to the knees and then pay attention to the back, right? Big range of motion here. We want to flex it and then we want to extend it as we come up. In this exercise, if you're not used to training your muscles down here, start low, start light, make it easy because it's a muscle area that recovers slowly. It has a little bit less blood flow because of the structures down there. And that means that it's gonna take a little longer for you to feel good after you get some muscle soreness or some DOMS. So start out light the first time if you're not used to doing this kind of thing and then take it up from there, you know, progress like we usually do.
Great. Now that we showed you guys the straight-legged deadlift, we got one more exercise on the list. Jefferson curls are one of the best exercises for strengthening your low back, but also for giving you a little bit more flexibility and mobility in the hamstrings and just the posterior chain in general. I love them because you get a lot out of the exercise with very little weight. And again, for me, I love anything that I can use to strengthen and also stretch at the same time, which is what these are perfect for. Today, we're going to show you how to do them with dumbbells, but I think it's even better to do them with barbells. Then why are we showing you how to do them with dumbbells? Because you can start out nice and light. And when you're doing this exercise where you're putting your spine through a really big range of motion, it's always a good idea to start out nice and light, easy, slow, low on the weights, and just get accustomed to it and see how you're going to respond the next day or two when that muscle soreness really starts to set in. Andrew's going to show you how to do those Jefferson curls now. We've got a block set up here because that's part of the exercises. You need to be high off the ground. And then we've got dumbbells. His feet are going to be hip width apart. And what you're going to watch him do is kind of almost unlock his spine from the top down. And then vertebrae by vertebrae, he's going to work his way down to the ground, keeping the dumbbells nice and close. He has great flexibility, so you're going to see him reach all the way past his toes. His knees are unlocked. They're not locked out, but we're not bending any more there. And then he's going to come back up. Something I want you to do is when we're at the bottom, I want you to take in a deep breath, and I want you to exhale. And when you're doing that, it's going to give you a little more mobility. So Andrew's going to get to the bottom. He's going to stop. And he's going to take a big inhale in. And then he's going to exhale. And you're going to watch him go a little deeper into that stretch. And that's why it's so important to do that breath. When we exhale our breath, we exhale tension. The muscle will relax and we can get deeper there. So I'm going to have him show you a couple more here. Perfect. Now we're gonna show you that bonus exercise on the list. It's my favorite exercise, and if you stuck around this long, you deserve it. The modified side bend is great because it's easy to learn. It requires minimal equipment, just a dumbbell's fine, and it's gonna strengthen your low back in a way that a lot of exercises just don't. If you're familiar with the side bend, it's gonna seem very, you know, familiar. <laughs> but there's a really important difference that Andrew and I are gonna show you next. Andrew's going to grab this dumbbell down here. And then again, if you're used to seeing a regular side bend, it's where he's like almost squished between two panes of glass. He's going to stretch out here, really strengthen the obliques, and then he's going to come up and contract them. From the side, a good side bend would be like this, between two panes of glass, and boom. The modified part is now we're going to make sure that we engage the low back, the spinal erectors, and also the QL, as well as those oblique muscles. So what we're going to do here is now instead of just going to the side, we're going to come forward a little bit, bring the dumbbell around, and then he's going to curve forward and to the side. He's going to get a big stretch in the low back, a big stretch in the side. He'll come up, he'll squeeze, and he'll contract it. So there you go, guys. There's that bonus exercise. It is my favorite on the entire list. So if you're not doing these, make sure you give them a shot. There you go, guys. There are my six favorite exercises for strengthening your lower back. And then that seventh bonus exercise, the modified side bend, which is my favorite exercise. Now, that is only seven, and there are a ton of exercises you could be doing. So if I missed your favorite, or you have a question about another exercise that might be good for training your low back, leave me a comment down below, and I will be the one that responds to it. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button too so you can be on the lookout for one of our next videos drops. And then I'm going to do one other thing for you. Now I'm going to put in the description a few links to some training programs that we've designed that are going to help you get started with strength training or take your strength and training to the next level. There's a beginner program, an intermediate program, and an advanced program. Whenever I get started with strength training again, maybe I had some time off or I got injured, I always go back to the beginner program because even though it's called the beginner program, it's the one that advances the fastest. It moves the way it's up quickly, and it's great for getting things going again after you've taken some time off. So with all that said, I'll be on the lookout for you guys, and when our next video drops, be ready for it.